Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Exotic Astrology and today we are going to check how to analyze the mental health of a person using Ashtagvarga. It's a very important analysis and many of you have asked me to do this, so here it is. And some of you have asked me questions about marriage, career and relationships uh, and so many other areas. I have made videos on all those topics. You will find them in this playlist itself. So please type Ashtagvarga in my channel. You will find all the videos, alright. And as usual, if you are new to the channel, please subscribe to it. And if you want a consultation regarding Ashtagvarga of your chart, then you can always go to my description section below to my website. And yes, God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and you will find him. So I had used this chart before also and I'm using this again so that people can uh, understand the synchronous nature of Ashtagvarga. Alright, so let us start the analysis. So as I said that the first thing we should look is the ascendant which is Scorpio here. So don't go to number 1, go to number 8 because these are the sign numbers not house numbers. Alright, so you see 27 here, 27 here. So now, what do we need to analyze when we check the mental health of a person? Well, we have to analyze multiple houses and we have to see which planets are contributing how. Alright, so for example, if the lords of the trines contributes to the lagna, then it is very good for the mental health because the trines will show things that come very easily to you. The trines will show the things that you are very good with. Your skills are also from the trines. Your ability to understand things and just be yourself is also from the trines. So therefore the placement of the trinal lords are very important and how much are the lords of the trines contributing you know, to each other. So that is very important. So for example, now let us check in this chart. Apart from the trines, we will also go to some other houses. So now let us check here. Scorpio Ascendant, how much is uh, Jupiter and Moon contributing? You see there, Moon has 6 points and Jupiter has 5 points. They are the dominating factors of the horoscope. So therefore, the inherent disposition of this person is he is, he is very... Uh, nice to talk, very calm, very peaceful. Uh, there's a lot of understanding when you talk with this person. You can clearly see that when you talk with this person. These are not ordinary things, you know. Ninth Lord contributing six points to the uh, the highest points that to to the Lagna. This is exceptionally good. And then we have Jupiter. Again, Jupiter is contributing five points. This is also phenomenal. So we see that out of 27, almost 11 points. So it's like saying almost one third of the points are coming from the trinal lord. So this is a very big landmark in this person's life. Now, apart from that, uh, let us go to the another concept of uh, natural benefics and natural malefics. All right. So. If you see in the chart, you also have to check what is the situation of the uh, Lagna in a way that how much are the natural benefits uh, contributing and how much are natural malefics contributing. So if you see here, Moon, Jupiter, Venus are having quite significant contribution. Mercury not so much. And Therefore, this means that inherently the person is very good and uh, always wants to meet good people, wants to talk to good people, wants to be nice to others. All right. Now, on the other hand, you see Saturn also has four points. All right. Now, Saturn contributing four points is not something to be ignored. This is something which has to be taken very seriously. So now what is Saturn here? Saturn is the third lord, is the fourth lord here. So third lord, fourth lord contributing four points. So this shows that sometimes 
things related to the third house and fourth house can make him sad or can make him be depressed or can make him be unhappy but because the majority of the points are coming from the natural benefits this is considered to be very good because then the person doesn't like to keep fighting all the time the person accepts things for what they are and does what he's supposed to do you know he is not like a uh, he's not like a headless fellow or he's not like a person who is in depression or he's not like a person who goes on uh, arguing with others all right this is a very important placement to have now another thing which we need to check for the mental health is the second house because second house defines your value systems all right second house is very important second house will tell you what are the things you value if you uh, if you have difficulties in the second house it will it can show that your value system is corrupted you don't like good things yes should i repeat you don't like good things okay so now let us go to the uh, second house which is sagittarius number 9 here 26 points are there so now you see here uh, moon doesn't have that much contribution that has decreased so that can show as the ninth lord not contributing it can show his family is inherently not very spiritual which is very true of course now that does not mean the family is uh, overly materialistic they are uh, they're just like a normal family in india uh, but not very spiritual unfortunately but look at the contribution of moon on the lagna which means six points highest so it means he himself is very spiritual but the family is necessarily not but then you again check you have planets like you see mercury then jupiter then venus they are giving quite contribution and then you also have sun who is contributing now sun is not exactly a natural malefic the only problem with sun is he gives ego but if you deal with the ego properly the overall chart is good then that sun can give him a lot of self-determination and other things all right so that is very important so uh, we can see that saturn has given very less points here so his family uh, is not likely to put him into depression much luckily here and uh, because this uh, Moon, Jupiter as the fifth lord is contributing the highest this this is very 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 auspicious for the person as the trinal lord and Jupiter is also the lord of the second house any any lord contributing points to its own house is always fabulous so after that which houses should we see we should also check the fourth house all right fourth house is very important because fourth house shows to what extent you can accept things for what they are all right so if the fourth house is not very good then even if things are great you will always be unhappy you will think that something is missing in my life what is that which i should bring out so now let us go to aquarius what is going on in aquarius so if you go to aquarius this looks decent which means again moon and mercury are contributing quite a bit to this if you see and saturn also has some contribution there as lord of the fourth house and apart from this you can judge moon mercury venus again the three natural benefits are having the highest contribution to these houses now the benefits always have more points than the malefics in astagvarga so it is to some extent natural that in most of the houses the malefics will be uh, contributing less and the benefits will be contributing more but you have to see in which house that is happening okay so here if it happens in the houses which are related to mental health for example the lagna the second and the fifth and the eleventh then this is considered fantastic all right so this person is very lucky to have uh, the natural benefits contributing highest amount of points to these houses you see now let us go to the next house two more houses remaining it is the fifth house fifth house as i said in one video you know it is the reason you get up in the morning all right 
so fifth house if it is very good it can show that you are very positive about life you are very optimistic you like to do good things you love everybody actually not you not that you just love one person it's like you love everybody you are a very good person so now let us go to pisces okay there again this is this is bombastic do you see this moon jupiter and venus this is insane this is madness this is like that's crazy you see they are like freaking 6 7 and 5 points this is these these are insane numbers you'll never find these numbers very rarely you will find such numbers again the trinal lords contributing to the trinal house moon and jupiter trinal lords contributing and venus also is a natural benefic in the chart all right although he is the 12th lord that will definitely give him some expenses now this can mean that he may spend too much money on buying gifts for others all right but at the end of the day he is happy even if he is uh, spending his money buying too many gifts for others you know he he is internally very happy and venus can show that his money may go in you know buying luxury items like you know jewelry or perfumes or these kind of things for himself or for others okay then the last and the most important house is the 11th house because 11th house decides everything in the chart because 11th house is the house of gains but it is also the house of network circle okay so if you go to the house of network circle you see what is happening there virgo 30 points are there number 6 go to virgo so you will see again jupiter mercury is contributing so this can show that his association is filled with people who are very knowledgeable and who like to talk a lot all right so and generally you will see that if you are depressed you talk with somebody you feel good you know you feel that you know, somebody is there with you so this can also help and venus also has four points and uh, sun has quite number of points here as the 10th lord which is fantastic for career all right so this is how you judge the mental health of a person you should always see the first house the second house the fourth house the fifth house and the 11th house 1 2 3 4 5 these five houses will tell you what will be the situation of the person mentally all right and what are the things that he should do and what are the things that he should avoid and as usual this chart is not perfect like any other chart there are problems there are many difficulties challenges and uh, shortcomings so you can keep doing that oh this has less more this is not good that is not good uh, many people keep doing that the moment they see a horoscope they will start pretending uh, and abusing the horoscope as if they have the best horoscope in the world okay so now somebody may find false that oh this is person is not good this person is terrible look this is happening there this is happening there all right but i personally know this person and whatever i said using astrologer is totally reflecting in this chart for the person okay i i mean not in the chart i mean in the uh, real life of the person so you can go on and on insulting and finding faults and if you continue to do these things eventually others will also end up doing the same thing with you all right because karma always hits back so next time when you see any horoscope analysis video or you you, you read any article you know don't just keep finding where the person will get beatings you should also see where the person will be good you know where the person will have good things otherwise what is the use of your so called million dollar useless astrological analysis which is totally useless if you cannot even help the person right just speaking negative things and not giving any positive solution or suggestion also so don't kill those who come to you with their horoscopes all right so encourage people and help them become a better person because then uh, you will also get such friends in the astrology community who are very positive and who want to uplift others not just uh, not just prove to you that you know your horoscope is so terrible you know and i have the best horoscope in the world all right thank you very much for your patience and if you like this video click the thumbs up and share this video with others who wants to know how to see mental health of a person using ashtag varga all right God is there with you all the time. Just look to Him, and you will find Him. And if you want a consultation from me regarding your Ashtag Varga, 
you can always go to my website down in the description section all right thank you very much see you soon again